Welcome to another edition of Discover Tinley, where we highlight the people and organizations of Tinley Park that make our town a great place in which to live. And as we all know, Tinley Park is a pretty great place in which to live. Uh, my name is Ron Centani. I'll be your host. And as always, it's brought to you for the volunteer efforts of the Community Resources Commission and our adult and student volunteers, uh, all kinds of volunteers helping to put on this program every month to bring it to you in Tinley Park. Uh, June's coming up here. Uh, a lot of things are going to be happening in town, so kind of watch your program, watch TinleyPark.org, uh, look at the newspapers and everything else to see what's coming up. We've got concerts, uh, we've got the block party, we've got the car shows, we've got uh, farmer's markets, all kinds of things happening in Tinley Park this summer and uh, going on in town here. So uh, take advantage of all the things that Tinley Park has to offer. Uh, program tonight is going to have a little sad note to it. Uh, we're in the process of giving a tribute to our commission chairman, Rita Brud, who passed away on April 21st of this year. Long time volunteer in Tinley Park, long time commission member, long time commission chairman, and participated in so many other things in Tinley Park. We thought it might be appropriate to give a good tribute to all the things that she has accomplished and done for Tinley Park all these years. Uh, if you think about it, 46 years of volunteer service, uh, not too many people uh, achieve that kind of level of helping out their community. Uh, we've got a number of people in town doing that, but 46 years is an awful long time. And I brought together some people who have known Rita most of those years if not all of those years. Um, she was a life, a long time resident of Tinley Park and participated in a lot of things. Uh, the first commission she joined was the, what was called then the Human Resources Commission. And we have what's here, the first chairman of the Human Resources Commission, which is now the CRC, uh, Charlie Smith. Welcome to Discover Tinley. Thanks, Don. Uh, our next guest is former retired longtime mayor of Tinley Park, Ed Zabrocki who was the chairman of the uh, uh, commission for a while and then uh, became mayor for many years and worked with Rita many years. And Al Seegers, who is uh, presently a member of the Community Resources Commission and also uh, did a lot, it was the chairman of Oktoberfest for I don't know how many years, for many, <laughs> many years of Oktoberfest. And also he kind of runs the Discover Tinley program uh, so far in the village this year. So uh, people who have done a lot with, uh, with Rita. So Charlie, uh, let's start out with, when did she become a member of the Human Resources Commission? What was your experience it's, with her? It's uh, the early 70s. Early yeah. 70s. And uh, we had just started the commission then. And uh, it was, uh, Ed had, had been appointed as a commissioner to that commission because he's, he, he moved to Tinley around that time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Rita followed him. And uh, actually they were uh, living uh, on the same street at that time. And, oh, yeah. and uh, both of them were, well, new. And we thought Discover Tinley might be the great, the, the theme for the new people moving in. I mean, Tinley was growing like crazy and we had Bremontown and other developments that were coming in. Mm -hmm. And the whole uh, emphasis was to provide services to the community or coordinate or inform the people right. of all those uh, types of services. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rita was uh, a great person to be involved in that. She was new, so she knew what people were looking for in the form of services. And it really got, it, it blossomed out. And mm -hmm. thanks to Rita, uh, I know that she was uh, in the uh, Oktoberfest parade one time, mm -hmm. and uh, she was <coughs> decorated as uh, Saint uh, Isabella. Saint I Isabella. Think, or not Saint, but the yeah, Queen, right. Isabella. Queen Isabella. I remember that Queen Isabella. She was and, Queen uh, Isabella. And Chris, and Chris Bartuli, which was her, eventually her coach, was Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> they both had the, f the, the right name. Yes. He had Chris for Christopher Columbus, and she was the Queen of Tinley Park for okay. the Queen Isabella. <laughs> but they were on a big float and stuff yeah. like that. Then she eventually became a judge for the Oktoberfest parade. Mm. And she was really uh, a great person, and, and it's probably been said over and over, but she was also behind the scenes type. Mm. She was very supportive for things that would uh, occur 
through the commission, through Oktoberfest, and also she reached out to people. I mean, uh, you would meet her uh, for the first time as a new person in Tinley. You, you had uh, a good friend uh, to guide them through the village and, and all the great services we provided uh, in our community. And so she was very helpful in that way. A lot of fun. She had a great sense of uh, humor and so forth. And uh, we just enjoyed working with her. She wow. was uh, a, a real pillar of our community as well as the Human Resources Commission. That was the name at that time. Right, right. Uh, I'm going to read um, our next guest, Ed Zabrocki, was a mayor uh, for many, many years. And back in 2013, uh, he and the board passed a resolution concerning Rita for her 40 plus years of service. So I'm going to read this resolution before we get Ed's uh, feedback on Rita here. Uh, resolution recognizing Rita L. Brud for over four decades of volunteer service with the village of Tinley Park from March 1973 to March 2013. Whereas Rita L. Brud <coughs> is a daughter of Illinois, born and raised in Chicago's North Side. She attended McPherson Elementary School and Amundsen High School. She attended North Central College for, four, for two years, then transferred to the University of Illinois in Chicago, from which she graduated in 1971 with a bachelor's degree in education and sociology. And whereas on March 5, 1973, the Honorable Mayor John T. Dunn recommended the appointment of Reed Albrud to serve as commissioner to the then Human Resources Commission, with a motion by Trustee Patrick E. Ray and seconded by Trustee e. Ma uh, Robert Mason. The appointment was unanimously approved. The commission was then chaired by a young educator <laughs> named Ed Zerbrocki. And whereas <laughs> for all the parts of the past five decades within two centuries, Rita L. Brud has over 40 years of continuous service as a commissioner for the village of Tinley Park and service to its citizens. And whereas during that period and through her leadership, Countless new programs and projects were instituted, which have included over 20,000 hours of volunteer work. And whereas Rita Albrecht has either instituted or significantly supported the following village activities, DARE program, DARE fest, Oktoberfest, Sister City Exchange program, Discover Tinley, scholarship program, Youth in Government, Tinley Park Fall Festival, Oktoberfest, Bicentennial Celebration, Millennial Celebration, Welcome Home Reception for the Military, and Holiday Happenings. During this period, by reflection, she gained the honorary title of Miss Can Do. And whereas her voluntary leadership in the countless village activities took Rita to Germany in support of the Sister Cities program and across Illinois as state president of Sister Cities International, when, where she remains the Illinois representative to the United States Sister Cities Program. And whereas Rita Albrecht has received numerous recognitions and awards and twice honored with special awards in the village of Tenley Park and the German city of Budingen for her international sister city efforts. In 2002, Rita received the Life Achievement Award from the Chamber of Commerce. And whereas in May of 2002, the Chicago Tribune recognized Rita in an article on her truly exceptional volunteer contributions in a town known for its concept of volunteerism, and the article noted that within the village hierarchy, Rita Brud is near the top of the pyramid. The article included a quote from Mayor Edward Zabrocki, Rita is a volunteer's volunteer. If you want something done, you talk to Rita. And whereas Rita's wide range of interests and abilities find her managing the Tinley Park Municipal Television Channel, which includes a number of monthly programs that march reach into the homes of Tinley Park citizens. And whereas as through the, the years of municipal volunteerism, she's always found time to volunteer at Zion Lutheran Church, where she assists in chancel care and in the distribution of the Sacrament of Holy Communion, as well as stewardship for over 20 years. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the President and Board of Trustees of the Village of Tinley Park, on behalf of over 58,000 citizens herein represented, that sincere congratulations, appreciation, and heartfelt thanks are extended to Rita L. Brud for over 40 years of continuous service as Commissioner and Chairman of the Village of Tinley Park Community Resource Commission. Such warm appreciation is also extended for her other volunteer efforts 
to the village and her church. This was signed by Mayor Edward Zabraki, village clerk Patrick Ray, and the trustees at that time. So a big overview of all that Rita has contributed to Tinley Park. And we have the mayor, uh, former mayor of Tinley Park, Ed Zabraki, uh, reflect on some of those things that were mentioned in that resolution that you, you helped with uh, Rita on. Well, Ron, first of all, <clears throat> excuse me, first of all, thank you for reading that. It, uh, it's a very humbling thing to realize what Rita has done in these 46 years that she's been with us. It's also interesting, she grew up a North Sider, but became a South Sider, <laughs> okay. okay? Which I think is a, 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 you know, a great plus for us. Uh, <clears throat> Rita was a unique person in, in many, many different ways. Uh, you read through the litany there of the various different organizations that she's been part of. And <clears throat> each and every one of those gained something for what Rita brought to the table. Rita brought an enthusiasm. She brought an interest. She brought something that is hard to define. And that is, how do I help? What do I need to do? What do I need to make my town better? And she did that for 45 years as a volunteer. She had a full-time job. Yeah. But 45 years. And that was two, three, four nights a week she would be doing things. I don't think there's a citizen out of the 60,000 people that we have in our community today that has not been touched in some way, whether it's the bicycle paths, whether it's the, uh, the, the commission, whether it's Oktoberfest, the old Oktoberfest, whether it's uh, uh, the uh, Discover Tinley, all those things generated through Rita. Now, did she come up with those ideas all the time? N not all the time, but as it said in there, Rita was the go-to gal. You asked her to do something, and then you forgot about it. And then it scared you because she ran with it. And some times said, Rita, you're doing what? Yeah, don't worry about it. I got it covered. Okay? And that's the way she was. And she got it done. And she got it done. <laughs> and she was not afraid to do it. Right. She would not ask another volunteer anything to do that she herself would not do. And that's, that's kind of unique. That's kind of unique. Uh, I, Emily and I had a conversation with Rita uh, about three weeks before she passed away. We talked to her when she was at Ingalls Hospital. We were on the phone for about 35, 40 minutes. You know what she was concerned about? Whether the essays were going to be read for the scholarship. <laughs> she was concerned about that. Here she is in the hospital realizing what she was facing, and yet she was concerned about, are we going to get these scholarships done on time? Are we going to do that? Are we going to do that? And that was the kind of reader we had. And, you know, I, I remember her with Oktoberfest. I, I remember her standing in rain at parades. Yeah. You know, I remember, you know, standing on, the, on a porch over at Ed and Joe's during those parades. And <laughs> she had it all organized, guys. I mean, you know, uh -huh. uh, there were nicknames for her, but they were all positive nicknames. <laughs> you know, everybody's kind of laughing. Well, they're positive. Well, positive. <laughs> Come on, think about it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, Mommy Dearest meant, meant something very positive yeah, to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was a mommy, and she was the dearest. Right. Because, quite frankly, the town was her dearest mommy. Yeah. Uh, you know, if that makes some sense. Yeah. But uh, the town's going to feel a hole for a long time. It oh, really yeah. is. Well, uh, speaking of that scholarship program, uh, it's my understanding. This scholarship is a Tinley Park uh, scholarship given out to high school students uh, every year uh, in the spring. As a matter of fact, uh, they should be announced sometime very soon. Uh, the Youth Commission, many, many, back in the early 70s, started this for a while and kind of died off after a while. The Youth Commission uh, kind of was, was put aside for a while and died off. And back a few years ago, uh, it was brought, Rita brought up that we, maybe we should start it again. And uh, the, S, the uh, program with essays, uh, the kids had a right and talk about their volunteer spirits mm -hmm. uh, in Tinley Park and what they contributed to the town. And so uh, Rita was in, good at instituting, uh, getting this back on track again uh, after many years of decline and got the scholarship program going. And it's my understanding that uh, from uh, uh, next, the end of the month, uh, this will be known as the Rita Brud Scholarship very Program. Very good. That's great. So uh, scholarship was named after Rita, which yeah. is uh, very good. She was very interested in that. So uh, that was good they got that started mm -hmm. there. Um, Al, how about you? Uh, you? She worked with you on uh, a number of things, uh, <coughs> yeah. on the Oktoberfest and Discover Tinley. 
Well, I think I first met Rita when we were doing the Discover Tinley Expo at the Bremontown Mall. <laughs> At oh the, Gately, the Gately's <laughs> People Store. You go back and that I, far? <laughs> and I think I got uh, volunteered by the mayor over here. Uh, <laughs> I had the pickup truck, and we needed to pick up tables and chairs for all the vendors. And uh, <laughs> and Rita got a hold of me, and uh, uh, we were borrowing tables and chairs from churches in the village hall and the public works department because we didn't have a budget for the event, and <laughs> and we weren't charging uh, the businesses to be there. So uh, we wanted to do it uh, as feasibly as possible. And so, uh, yeah, I was helping setting up tables and chairs. And uh, that was kind of the first time uh, I got to meet Rita and work with her. And uh, she was a mentor to me and uh, probably everybody in the room. And uh, our whole commission, we, uh, uh, we kind of followed her lead. And uh, from there on, we discovered Tinley kept getting bigger. Um, I would be doing floor plans and um, finally we had to rent tables and chairs because the, the event kept getting bigger and bigger. We moved into, I think it was uh, uh, one of the schools. Grissom. Uh, Grissom, Grissom, was Grissom, yeah. Grissom, Grissom School. Grissom Junior High at that yeah, time. Grissom <laughs> Junior High. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she was quite concerned because the gymnasium floor was all specially rubberized <laughs> yes. and, and we were going to put tables and chairs on it and both the school and her were concerned. So. I came up with uh, solo cups to put underneath all the table legs and all the chairs mm -hmm. and uh, made a successful event out of that. And uh, the event just continued to grow and grow and grow and mm -hmm. um, got involved with uh, Rita and Charlie with the Oktoberfest. Um, Rita was uh, in the chairman, well, Rita and Charlie were chairman for the parade at the Tilly Park Oktoberfest every year. And Rita would organize all the judges and everything. and. Uh, uh, we, uh, there again, the, the, the Oktoberfest grew from a uh, little festival on Oak Park Avenue, and then we moved over to the uh, I-80 uh, Drive-In Theater, and then we ended up uh, at the newly constructed uh, World Music Theater, and the event just kept growing, and uh, Rita was always there. Um, her job was to organize, the, uh, uh, organize and produce the parade while everybody else was getting the Oktoberfest ready on site on Saturday morning. Rita was making sure the parade went off without a hitch, and uh, Charlie was there too. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've been on uh, the Community Resource Commission, Human Resource Commission at first for a good many years. I've known Rita for 30, probably 35 years, and uh, I have to say she was a mentor for a lot of the things that I learned to do and a lot of things I was proud to do um, with her guidance. So, um, yeah, I, I will miss her. Um, a lot of people will miss her, and uh, she's really been a mentor to a lot of things that I've done, a lot of people that I've met, and uh, yeah, we'll miss her. It's going to be a, a tough day at her memorial service for me. So. You know, one of the things you mentioned, Al, and you mentioned it several times, of uh, Rita being a mentor, mm -hmm. and you know, she, she mentored all of us in a certain way, okay? Mm -hmm. But I think she was a mentor in, in many different ways to the people she came in contact with. Mm -hmm. The, the kids, the high school kids, whether it's with this program or the youth programs, uh, that was different. And the mm -hmm. other thing you mentioned, Ron, is that whenever a, a program we had with the village began to falter a little bit, she jumped in. Mm -hmm. The health commission had an issue, she mm -hmm. got in there. Bicycle commission had an issue, youth commission. She picked all that stuff up mm -hmm. and kind of rolled it into this commission. and. You know, the, the mandate that this commission now has, it now has is so broad, the, you know, all human services. Right. Well, it came about, mm -hmm. every now it wasn't a commission. I've been on the commission, I found out, I didn't realize it for, since 1980. <laughs> <laughs> and every once in a while, you know, we were doing a couple of things at the beginning there, and every once in a while, we say, well, uh, this thing, uh, another program came up, mm -hmm. and the Human Resources Commission is going to do this. What? <laughs> Another <laughs> job for us to do? Uh, was, like she the, never said no. No, no, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, As yeah, you guys know. Uh, the Bicycle <laughs> Commission uh, came about, and then pretty soon that kind of went off. And then the, uh, the, 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 the Sister Cities program it was mm -hmm. a huge thing, and mm -hmm. she said, well, HRC is going to take care of that. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll get this organized, and by golly, she mm -hmm. got that started and off the ground, and mm -hmm. uh, to the point where we, where we had one time we had, what, 300 visitors from Germany that... 
needed right. rooms to stay, and mm -hmm. she helped coordinate that and mm -hmm. spun off the Sister Cities Commission. Let me interrupt just for a minute, Ron. I've been in contact with the Sister Cities Commission in Germany. They contacted me a couple of days ago, uh -huh. and they're doing a spread in the local newspaper uh -huh. uh, about Rita and her contributions to the Sister City program and in particular to, to Budigan. Right. I mean, uh, they were very concerned about her passing. Wow. Yeah, she had a big influence there, mm -hmm. Charlie. Yeah, the, uh, she always had a smile. I, I don't care how bad it got, how, how much it rained on her or anything. She was always <laughs> smiling and, and getting involved. I remember uh, we had a Shop Tinley campaign. Oh. You mm -hmm. that? Yeah. And, and we, we bought magnets. They were like buttons oh, yeah, like this, yeah, yeah. but they were magnets. Yeah, yeah. And and Rita and I are on the corner there, and we're giving them away. And people would come up to the stoplight on Oak Park Avenue, and they didn't want to talk. You know, they thought we were soliciting for uh, funds and so forth. And they, they, they didn't want it. They'd look straight ahead. They wouldn't even pay attention to you and stuff. And Rita would stick them on the car. Oh, they no. were <laughs> You know, and she just put it on there and she'd go like this to me, you know. <laughs> and, you know. Oh, my goodness. And uh, she just, uh, yeah, she yeah. was great with her ideas yeah, and yeah. always a smile. Yeah. Uh, nothing failed. I mean, she, she worked everything out. Yeah. Plus, she knew how to work the floor. Once you met uh, Rita and you go to the convention and, and Al talked about the, uh, now it's, uh, you know, Discover Tinley there. Mm -hmm. That's huge. And right. she just walked all around, shaking hands with people, knew their names and so forth. Right. She, uh, she replaced the welcome wagon <laughs> that used to be in Tinley, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, when yeah. she moved in and turned it all around with Discover Tinley. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she did a lot with uh, promoting Tinley Park. Uh, that Tinley Park was a big thing to her and keeping that, that in mind with everybody that she came in contact with. And that's why that Discover Tinley really mushroomed into a, the program it is today because of her efforts to, to make that into a big program. Um, I know another thing she helped start with this youth in government program, too. Uh, that started with the Youth Commission many years mm -hmm. ago, and that died off, too. And uh, all of a sudden she said, uh, we're going to do that again, too. So that started off. She, she asked me to start doing that again, and mm -hmm. we got back on track with youth in government. She was very concerned that that kept go keep going. And uh, a few other things, too. So she was uh, very big. In the D.A.R.E. program, uh, we always had the D.A.R.E. garage sale every year. And that was a, <laughs> yeah. when, the when that came up, the infamous D.A.R.E. Yes. garage sale. Yeah. And uh, she car. got that all. We had a huge, that was a two-day <laughs> affair. And that was a huge affair. But Rita got us all going and mm -hmm. got us, uh, we used to have a semi full of stuff mm -hmm. donated. Mm -hmm. And we'd sure get rid of it all on, uh, on that Saturday. For uh, We raised thousands of dollars for the D.A.R.E. program mm -hmm. uh, based on that. One thing I, I don't think she ever slept. I don't. You <laughs> know what I mean? Or if she did, her eyes were open I thinking know, about I, ideas. I to know, do. You know. One way or another, she got people involved. Yes. Yeah. yes and, you know, yes. Her, her spirit of, in, of volunteerism was infectious. Right. And she just bubbled over with that. You know, yeah. and it's, it, there's... There's probably one or two people that we each come across in our lives that, that make a difference that way. Mm -hmm. and, and you wonder, how does she spend the time? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? She got great satisfaction out of it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I'm sure she's up there right now and saying, hey, you guys better do a good job. Yeah. Otherwise, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Lightning. She's, she's probably also saying, why are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, that's, true, yeah. Oh, that's your problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's been quite an experience all these years, and I don't know how much longer she was going to keep on going with that, but it's, yeah, after 46 years, you mm -hmm. think, well, it's a time to kind of yep. lay low, and mm -hmm. she didn't give any indication no. she was going to lay low and keep going with this, uh, with the, the Tinley program. Well, I say, even the conversation we had with her on the phone, I mean, yeah. she, she was, you know, we're moving ahead with the scholarship, we've got to make sure it's taken care of. Yeah, yeah. You know, she moved right ahead with it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Al. She yes. called me several times from the hospital. Mm hmm um, wanting to know that uh, Discover Tinley was going well. Oh, yeah. She wanted to know if I had the layout all done. She wanted to know how many vendors we had. Um, okay. Did you have your meeting with the convention center staff? Do they know what we want? You know, um, Are the bills all paid so we can pay for the entertainment and everything and get that out of this year's budget? Um, she called several times, uh, pretty much trying to run Discover Tinley from her <laughs> hospital bed. and. Jeez. And a, I, you probably wouldn't expect anything less because that's the way she was. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You're right, Al. Uh, and and I, I've got to interject here, too. She was a big driver of this TV 
station, mm -hmm. the oh, TV yes. program in yes. Tinley Park. We yeah. began. Uh, she got that began off the ground. Uh, and it was Metro. Metro, <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Time, we went yeah. through all the and yeah. uh, uh, we had several studios <laughs> and yeah. several mm -hmm. locations. Uh, but she was big on getting that organized and getting all this going here and and uh, getting this uh, studio. We're in the uh, called the old Pause Building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but she had a big hand in getting it going and keeping it going all these years. Mm -hmm. And we're very lucky we've been getting some excellent volunteers mm -hmm. helping us out, keeping it going mm -hmm. all these years. So we've mm -hmm. uh, got a, the TV show, a TV program you're watching is mm -hmm. uh, based on uh, Rita's efforts from mm -hmm. many, many years ago doing all this kind of stuff. You know, the old I, I, I think uh, right now she's up in heaven introducing uh, St. Peter to the Discover <laughs> Heaven <laughs> right. program. <laughs> okay. you know, the JCs used to have an old award called Spark Plug Award. Yes. Oh, yeah. She literally was a spark plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the rest of it going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know she had that energy. Uh, yeah. How she got that uh, going. But uh, 20,000 hours, can you imagine that many hours uh, devoted to volunteer service. That's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, sitting here right here, we probably add up your hours of volunteer <laughs> service, and they probably add up to pretty much that, too. So, Well, we followed her example. Ah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> it was fun with Rita. Okay. Yeah, it really was. Uh, was last really comments. Fun. we got about a minute to go. Any last comments you want to add about Rita? Al, uh, would your brief comment? Uh, I think I covered it. Uh, <clears throat> she was a, a mentor to just about everybody she met, and uh, uh, tried to run things even from her hospital bed and uh, you probably wouldn't expect anything less of her so uh, mm -hmm. I will remember her forever as a wonderful lady and uh, uh, we'll be at the uh, memorial service and it'll be a tough day at the memorial service. I remember her as the go-to gal. She was the individual who you needed something done you gave it to Rita and her spirit of volunteerism was infectious and you don't find too many people like that today. Mm -hmm. She also, uh, from my standpoint, she'd come up with these ideas and go, well, Rita, what about, don't worry about it, Charlie. Don't worry about it. And you never had to worry yeah. about it. It went off, you, you, you came to the event or the whatever she was involved with, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, uh, she got everybody going. Yeah. Uh, somehow it got that spirit going with everybody. Uh, Rita Brud, uh, longtime volunteer uh, member of the community, uh, member of her church, uh, very active in all kinds of things, not only on the commission, but like we said, the Oktoberfest, uh, uh, the church, uh, other programs in town. Uh, she uh, really uh, put out a lot of effort in, uh, in helping out Tinley Park become a great place in which to live. Uh, we're going to miss Rita and uh, see how things go, but uh, Rita Brud, uh, thanks for all your service, and we appreciate all you've done over these years. Again, thanks for watching Discover Tinley, and we'll see you next month.